This is Jason Cartalian, and I'm here in the middle of the wilds of Studio City. We're checking out the DJI action camera. The gear I'm using, Zoom F1 field recorder, Sennheiser ME2 lav mic, Osmo action camera by DJI, various grip handle gear. Going up. Woo. We're on Rock Steady 24P. Okay. I don't see any rattlesnakes yet. I think that this camera is a really solid camera that can give GoPro a run for its money. I, I also feel like the Rock Steady mode is actually very, very effective. The real fatal flaw is the the lapse between shooting and monitoring. So it's very difficult to shoot this in, in standard production situations, like, like finding an endpoint and ending with an endpoint. Like, like I, I went to Belmont Park and I just wanted to stop and, and, and put a close up on the Belmont Park um, sign. And every time I stopped, at the perfect place, the, the, the camera was still processing the recording. So I, I was like a, like a second and a half behind. So my framing was never right. So I had to basically um, start with the endpoint and then back up. And then in Premiere, reverse the footage so I hit the exact end point. This camera does have its issues, but the one thing that does kill at is uh, what I'm doing right now, you know, just, just in a bumpy kind of messed up terrain sort of, you know, going through it. I also prefer the field of view that the DJI Osmo action camera provides over the GoPro. I feel like it doesn't have that fisheye view, even though it has a pretty wide view. It's still a little more cinematic and it doesn't necessarily scream action camera, even though I guess it's called an action camera. I feel like it's a more cinematic camera. So I want you to take a look at some footage that I shot with the DJI at this historic 100-year-old roller coaster at Belmont Park in San Diego. <laughs> 